Hello and welcome to Gathered Makes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use epoxy resin for crafts. Always cover your surface before you start working with resin. The best type of cover to use in our experience is a silicone mat like this one. Epoxy resin itself is a two-part liquid that when you mix it together, the two parts react and then they cure and harden over time to create a hard object. Other supplies you'll need are some measuring cups and mixing cups, some stirring sticks, I just use lollipop sticks for this, a mould to pour your resin in, some toothpicks, and a well-ventilated space. Today we'll be decorating our resin with these pastel confetti sprinkles. An essential supply you'll need are some gloves to cover your hands to make sure that no resin gets onto your skin. It is possible to have allergic reactions to epoxy resin, so please do stop using it if you notice any sort of skin irritation or breathing problems. Using warm resin and warm moulds will help to reduce the amount of air bubbles you get later on. You'll find that it helps to warm your resin before you start to craft with it. I sometimes just place my bottles on a hot water bottle for a few minutes before I start mixing. You can also put them into a jug of warm water as we're doing here, just to bring the temperature up a little bit. For your resin to cure properly, it will need to be in a warm area in a low humidity environment. Now it's time for the fun bit, measuring your resin. Before you open your bottles of resin, always put on your gloves. Open and measure each part separately, the resin and the hardeners. Replace the cap on the bottle before you move on to the next bottle. Working methodically like this will help to prevent accidents like putting the wrong cap on the wrong bottle, which could mean you can't open that bottle again, or pouring double the amount of the same bottle so your project will never cure. Measure your resin and hardener following the instructions supplied with them. Be careful to check the amounts you've poured it's very easy to add too much or too little and ruin a resin project. We measured our resin in advance before we made this video. Now it's time to mix your resin. When you're ready, pour both the resin and the hardener into one cup and mix them together. I use paper cups here in this video, but you can also use reusable silicone measuring cups. When mixing your resin, follow the instructions that were supplied with it. It is normal to need to mix it for about three minutes, but follow any specific timings that your resin instructions state. Not mixing for long enough can affect how your resin cures, so set a timer and stick to it. Use a slow and steady motion to avoid working extra air into the mixture. This will help you to avoid too many bubbles forming. Make sure to scrape the sides of the cup and the bottom to ensure an even mix. Now it's time to pour your resin into the mould. You can either pour directly into larger moulds, like we're doing here, or you can use a spatula or pipette, or just a little spoon if you're using a smaller mould. With this mould, we're going to cast our confetti in the middle of the finished coaster. We're using a two pour method. Firstly, we filled the mould till it's halfway up the depth of the mould. Now leave to dry and harden for the amount of time stated on the pack instructions. Now this coaster, we've left to dry for 24 hours and you'll see this resin has now hardened and it's time to add the objects that we want to cast in the middle of our coaster. So now we add some confetti sprinkles to the center of the coaster and then pour a second layer of resin on top. You can do this by just doing one pour and putting the confetti straight in. Your confetti or sprinkles can sink to the bottom. Then to set again, you can see here that the sprinkles are captured right in the center Now we're going to try a one pour method using epoxy resin and adding mica powder to create some moon phases charms. It's important to stir mica powder really thoroughly. You don't want to leave any clumps you want an even distribution of the colour throughout the resin. So here you can see we're stirring until we've got a lovely golden resin ready to pour. Before we pour, I'm also going to add some glitter just to add a bit of extra sparkle.
again stir the glitter thoroughly through your resin and now pour into the mould again I'm free pouring from the cup here if you prefer a tidier method you could transfer the resin into the mould with a spoon For moulds like this one which have quite delicate areas, it can help to take a toothpick and just gently tease that resin into those nooks and crannies. Don't worry if you end up with some little drops of resin as here, they'll peel away easily when you demould the resin. Now leave your resin to dry again for the amount of time in the pack instructions and once it's hardened you can remove your charms from the mould. A really nice way to display shapes like this is to turn them into jewellery or key rings. You can get really small mini drills for resin which will just drill a small hole in the top that you can then thread a, a key ring into. This method also works really well with an alphabet mould. My kids love making these as gifts for their friends, with their friends' initials on. And here we're just showing you making alphabet charms out of epoxy resin. Using the same resin that we coloured with Mika powder. Your resin is quite hardy once it's set, um, so it should break away from the mould pretty easily. If you take a closer look, you can see that metallic gold colour, which has a nice shiny effect with, combined with the resin, but also the glitter layer along the top where we added that glitter, that's all sunk down to the bottom. So different things you can add in. You can add all sorts of things to your resin. You can add mica powder and glitter which we've used a combination of these substances to create these little star charms. And you can also use these pigment inks and they give your resin a lovely deep colour. So we got just this pack of rainbow inks relatively cheaply online and they'll last a long time, a lot of projects, you don't need much. So this is your guide to how to use epoxy resin for beginners. Please let us know how you get on in the comments or share any tips. And don't forget to subscribe to Gathered Makes for more weekly craft videos.